Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we've been given the diode based circuit, and here we have been given that all the diodes in the given circuit are the ideal diodes. So here we've been asked to find the current through this diode D1. So let us find that. So here, before finding the current through the diode D1, first of all we should find that whether this diode D1 and D2 are conducting or not. So first, let us assume that both diodes D1 and D2 are in the off condition. So if they are in the off condition, then they will act as a open circuit. So now in this condition, if you see, then the voltage at this node is equal to 5 volt. Because in this condition, these two resistors are not connected with the any other circuit. And simply using the voltage divider rule, it is easy to find the voltage at this node. That means in this condition, the voltage at the anode of this diode D2 is equal to 5 volt. And through these resistors, the cathode of the diode is connected to the ground terminal. So we can say that for the diode D2, the voltage at the anode is equal to 5 volt, while the voltage at the cathode is equal to 0 volt. And here, since the voltage at the anode is more than the cathode voltage, it means that this diode D2 should be in the on condition. Similarly, if you see for the diode D1, then for this diode D1, the voltage at the anode is equal to 3 volt, while the cathode terminal is connected to the ground terminal via this resistor. So we can say that the cathode voltage is equal to 0 volt. So once again here, this anode voltage is more than the cathode voltage. So from this we can say that this condition is not true. So now let us see the other condition where the diode D1 is on while the diode D2 is off. So here, since the diodes are the ideal diode, so in the on condition, this D1 will act as a short circuit while the D2 will act as a open circuit. So in this condition, now let us find the voltage across the diode D2 and let us find that whether it is in the on condition or the off condition. So once again, since these two resistors are not connected with any other circuit, so the voltage at this node will be equal to 5 volt. That means just using the voltage divider rule, it is easy to find the voltage across this node. That means in this condition, for the diode D2, the voltage at the anode is equal to 5 volt. And here, since the diode D1 is in the on condition, so the voltage at this node is equal to 3 volt. And the same will be appear over here. So we can say that for this diode D2, the voltage at the cathode is equal to 3 volt. And in this condition, as you can see, still this anode voltage is more than the cathode voltage. So we can say that this diode D2 is also in the on condition. So from this we can say that if this diode D1 is in the on condition, then this diode D2 should also be in the on condition. And therefore, this condition is also not true. So now, let us see the other condition where the diode D2 is in the on condition while the diode D1 is in the off condition. And let us verify whether this condition is true or not. So if the diode D2 is in the on condition, then it will act as a short circuit while the diode D1 will act as a open circuit. So in this condition, if we see the voltage at the anode of this diode D1, then this anode voltage is equal to 3 volt. So now, we just need to find the voltage at the cathode. That is the voltage at this node. So here, let's assume that the voltage over here is equal to Vx while the voltage at this node is equal to Vy. So here, to find this voltage Vx, let us apply the KCL at this node. So applying the KCL, we can write this 10 minus Vx divided by 1 kilo ohm, that is this current, is equal to Vx minus 0 divided by 1 kilo ohm, that is this current, plus Vx minus 0 divided by 2 kilo ohm that is this current or further we can say that this 10 minus vx that is equal to vx plus 0.5 times vx that means 10 is equal to this 2.5 times vx or we can say that this vx is equal to 4 volt that means here this voltage vx is equal to 4 volt and now using the voltage divider rule we can easily find this voltage Vy because as you can see this 4 volt 
is getting equally divided between these two resistors. So we can say that this voltage Vy is equal to 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 1 kilo ohm times 4 volt and that is equal to 2 volt. That means here the voltage at the cathode is equal to 2 volt. So in this condition as you can see for this diode D1 since the anode voltage is more than cathode voltage so this condition is also not true and from this we can say that for the given circuit both the diode D1 and D2 are in the on condition and in this condition now let us find the current through the diode D1 so now since both the diode D1 and D2 are in the on condition so both the diodes will now act as a short circuit so in this condition now let us find this current I so here let's assume that the voltage at this node is equal to Vx and as you can see over here since this diode D1 is in the on condition so voltage at this node will be equal to 3 volt so now let us apply the KCL at this node and let us find the current through this branch so here if we apply the KCL at this node then we can write this 10 minus Vx divided by 1 kilo ohm that is this current that is equal to Vx divided by 1 kilo ohm that is this outgoing current plus Vx minus 3 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm that is this current. So from this we can say that this 10 minus Vx is equal to Vx plus this Vx minus 3 or we can say that this 13 is equal to 3 Vx or we can say that this voltage Vx is equal to 13 divided by 3 volt that means we can say that this voltage Vx is equal to 4.33 volt so in this way we got the voltage Vx and from this now we can easily find the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor so let's say this current is equal to Ix so now this current Ix can be given as this Vx minus 3 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm that is equal to 4.33 minus 3 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm that is equal to 1.33 milliampere that means this current Ix is equal to 1.33 milliampere so now if we apply the KCL at this node then we can say that this current I plus Ix is equal to 3 milliampere that is the voltage through the 1 kilo ohm resistor because as you know the voltage at this node is equal to 3 volt therefore the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor will be equal to 3 milliampere that is 3 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm that means this I plus Ix is equal to 3 milliampere or from this we can say that this current I is equal to 3 milliampere minus 1.33 milliampere and that is equal to 1.33 66 milliampere that means this current i is equal to 1.66 milliampere so from this we can say that for the given circuit the current through the diode d1 is equal to 1.66 milliampere and therefore for the given question the answer is equal to 1.66 milliampere